this video, I'm going to show you how to solve two tricky dilution calculation questions which was asked by one of our most active subscribers. Now these two questions have an exam-like quality to them, so I'm going to show you the best strategy to solve them like a pro and we are starting right now. Hello, this is Dr. Dankwa. And if this is your first time here and you like to learn pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks, and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, if you need a comprehensive tutorial on dilution calculations or you just want to see more solved examples, I'm going to put a link to a playlist in the description and I'm going to link it to the cards as well. But let's get right to it. This question says, how many milliliters of a 17% weight by volume concentrate of benzalkonium chloride should be used in preparing 100 milliliters of a stock solution such that 5 milliliters diluted to 60 milliliters will yield a 0.13% weight by volume solution of benzalkonium chloride? Now let's start off with a quick schematic to illustrate what the question is actually asking. We do have a concentrate. So we start off with the concentrate. We know the concentration of the concentrate because from the question it is 17%. So the concentration is 17%. Now this is weight by volume from the question. And we want to prepare a stock solution which is 100 milliliters in volume. So we have a stock solution. The volume here is actually going to be 100 milliliters. Now we don't know the concentration of the stock solution and we don't really know the volume of the concentrate but for this particular question we don't need to know the original volume of the concentrate. What we do need to know actually is the volume that we take out to prepare the stock solution and that is actually what the question is asking. So we need to find volume that we take to prepare the stock solution. Now from this stock solution we want to make a more diluted preparation. And this time the diluted solution is actually 60 milliliters so it's slightly less than the stock solution and here the volume is 60 milliliters and the concentration is actually 0.13 percent weight by volume so the volume 60 ml we got from the question and then the 0.13 percent is also given us in the question now the way we prepare the diluted solution is to take from the stock solution a specified volume and that volume is actually 5 milliliters so we can just call this maybe v3 and that is 5 milliliters so now that we have a clear picture of what the question is asking we can go ahead and proceed with the solution the strategy actually is to work backwards so we'll start off by determining the amount of benzalkonium chloride that's actually present in the 60 milliliter diluter solution and then we'll work backwards until we get the volume of the 17% concentrate that we started off with. So the way that would look like is for the first step, we are interested in the amount of benzalkonium chloride. But we are interested in the amount of benzalkonium chloride that is in the 60 milliliter diluted solution. And so to do that, we will make use of the percentage concentration, which is the 0.13, and the volume, which is 60 milliliters. So 0.13% implies you have 0.13 grams of benzalkonium chloride in 100 milliliters of solution. And so we want to determine how many grams is present in 60 milliliters, which is the volume that we actually intended to make. So we can go ahead and solve for x, which is our unknown. x is going to be equal to 0.13 grams times 60 milliliters divided by 100 milliliters. And that is equal to 0.078 grams. Now it's important to stress that all the 0.078 grams of benzalkonium chloride that is present in the diluter solution actually came from the 5 milliliter volume that was taken from the stock solution. So we can make use of that information and proceed with our next step which is step 2 and that will be to determine the amount of benzalkonium chloride that is actually present in the 100 milliliter stock solution. So we are interested at this point in time in calculating the amount of benzalkonium chloride in the 100 milliliter stock solution. 
and so that would imply that we will make use of the understanding that the 0 0.078 grams of benzalkonium chloride is present in the 5 milliliter volume that was taken from the 100 ml solution and we are interested in determining how many grams is present in 100 milliliters so we can go ahead and solve for y and y is going to be equal to 0 0.078 grams times 100 milliliters divided by 5 milliliters and that is going to be equal to 1.56 grams now it's important to note that all of this 1.56 grams of benzalkonium chloride which was present in the 100 milliliter stock solution came from the volume that we took out from the concentrate and so the next step is to determine the volume of concentrate now the way we want to approach that is to make use of the percentage concentration which is 17 percent weight by volume that's of the concentrate and that would imply that you have 17 grams of benzalkonium chloride in 100 milliliters of solution and we are interested in determining the volume that will give 1.56 grams so when we solve for the unknown here which is z then z is going to be equal to 1.56 grams times 100 milliliters divided by 17 grams and that is equal to 9.18 milliliters this question says in filling a hospital order a pharmacist diluted one milliliter of an amphotericin b injection containing 50 milligrams per 10 milliliter with a five percent weight by volume dextrose injection to prepare an intravenous infusion containing amphotericin b 0.1 milligram per milliliter how many milliliters of infusion did the pharmacist prepare so here the best strategy would be to use the algebraic method and since you're mixing two components we are going to use this version of the equation and that would be c1 q1 plus c2 q2 equals c final q final where c1 is the concentration of the first component q1 is the quantity of the first component c2 is the concentration of the second component q2 is the quantity of the second component and cf is the concentration of the final product and qf is the quantity of the final product now in this question we are just going to designate amphotericin b as component one and dextrose as component two and so what that would look like then is the c1 is going to be equal to 50 milligrams per 10 milliliter the q1 is going to be equal to one so that's one milliliter the c2 is going to be equal to zero because there is no amphotericin b in the dextrose injection and your q2 is going to be equal to q2 we do not know that cf is the final concentration and that's given as 0 0.1 milligram per milliliter and qf is actually what we are looking for but qf is also given as q1 plus q2 so now we can go ahead and substitute all these values into the equation and what that would look like then is you have 50 milligrams in the 10 milliliter times 1 milliliter which is the q1 plus c2 which is 0 times q2 and that is equal to cf which is 0 0.1 milligrams per milliliter times qf so we can go ahead and actually simplify the equation some more and so instead of 50 milligrams per 10 milliliter we'll end up with 5 milligrams per milliliter times 1 milliliter now the 0 times q2 will go to 0 because any number times 0 is equal to 0 and that will be equal to 0 0.1 milligram per milliliter and anywhere we see the qf we're going to put q1 plus q2 but q1 is actually one milliliter and so that will be equal to one milliliter plus q2 so we can actually simplify the equation some more the milliliter will cancel out here so we have five milligrams and then the 0 0.1 milligram per milliliter will be distributed over the one 
and the Q2. And so that will be equal to 0 0.1 milligram because the milliliters will cancel out plus 0 0.1 milligram per milliliter times Q2. So we can go ahead and subtract the 0 0.1 milligrams on both sides. So that'll be 5 milligram minus 0 0.1 milligram that's going to be equal to 0 0.1 milligram per milliliter times q2 we can simplify the equation some more so 5 milligrams minus 0 0.1 milligram that's going to be 4.9 milligram being equal to 0 0.1 milligram per milliliter times q2 we can divide both sides by 0 0.1 milligrams per milliliter that would imply that q2 is going to be equal to 4.9 milligrams divided by 0 0.1 milligram per milliliter the milligrams cancel out and q2 is actually 49 milliliters but the question is asking how many milliliters of infusion and that actually is qf so notice that qf is actually q1 plus q2 that would imply qf is equal to one milliliter plus the 49 milliliters and that implies that qf which is the volume of infusion prepared by the pharmacist is actually 50 milliliters now if you'd like to see more examples using the algebraic method to solve dilution calculation questions then i'm going to put a link to a playlist in the description and i'll link that in the cards as well so I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to like it and share it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I see them. If you'd like to learn more pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.